Hey guys, how are you? We are back on our uh, 361 kit saw. I got my contact spring today. It actually came rather quick. I've got the wiring in. Um, ready to start finishing the rest of the assembly on this. I don't really have long to work today. Maybe an hour or so. I don't know that we'll get it started up today. I've got to do something with that very, very restrictive muffler. If and you ain't seen one of these mufflers, maybe you can see back in there. Some people call it a bird's cage when they take it apart, but uh, it is a mess. Um, I'm not 100% sure which route to go. Um, the best thing to do would be try to peel that back or cut it off and open the muffler up. Because I'm wanting to squeak about every little thing I can out of this. I'm not saying go full tilt race saw with it. Um, I am wanting to do that on something eventually, kind of like we done crusty. And there's still more in that saw and there's some others I've done that way, but... And I don't think I have any intentions of going anywhere to try to race. I just kind of like competing with myself. But uh, on to this build where we're at right now. Uh, if you want to back up and watch the first part of this. Uh, it took me several days to do that. Just in here piddling around to the evening. We got the machine work done. The port work done on it some modifications done to the piston that's kind of what i'm wanting to do today is get the piston permanently mounted to the saw get the cylinder on it and just kind of see how far i can get um well guys i would not have believed that if i hadn't seen it with my own eyes that's the first i'm pretty sure farmer piston i've gotten that has an OEM style circlip. No tang on it. I did not cut it off. It's the way it came out of the box. Alright guys. Um, this piston. One of the locating pins. For the bottom ring. Is like right beside of the exhaust port. We did widen that port. I could probably get by with running the bottom ring. But it's a little trick I use sometimes just to stretch a little more out of a saw and it does reduce some parasitic drag. You're not going to lose a big great deal of compression or anything. You really shouldn't lose anything technically on a new build. Alrighty guys. Um, nice and smooth. Feels like she make all kinds of compression. That's about a piss poor way of testing but whatever it is what it is got our intake boot in everything lined up good the clamp that they sent with it was i don't know it just kind of skeptical looking but once it tightened down it straightened out and seemed to look good it's one downfall of these kits is the clamps kind of suck the boots kind of suck it just you know it is what it is um you know Ain't never gonna be OEM. All right, guys, this is about all I'm gonna do tonight. Um, got the carb on, everything's working the way that it should. Fast idle, kill switch. Um, still kind of sucks, the contact switch wasn't there, but I think I've dropped about that enough, I guess. All right, guys, next day. Um, and I'm just taking my time piddling around on this thing of the evenings. I do have some other projects to get into, but. I should have this one buttoned up this evening and move on to something else tomorrow, hopefully, but um, this is uh, where the air filter, it's like the elbow that comes off of, you got your air filter housing and then this elbow goes on it and honestly, I don't know if it's that restrictive or not. Um, but air does flow better if it doesn't have to make a big sharp bend. So we just open that up where it's a straight shot. Yeah, she's starting to look like a saw, but thought I'd give you guys a look. Um, muffler mod. She's a hollow can. You can go in and get the bird cage and all of that all the way out. You just need a pretty good um, carbide cutter and... Um, 
you can get it worked out of there and yes i know i kind of ding the hell out of the back of that muffler but it's no big deal it'll flatten out when we torque things down okay guys so she is like really really stupid high strung i kind of expecting that with the transfer port design and the amount of intake time when i threw at it but um man this thing sounds good um ain't got a lot of gas in it so ain't gonna run it a whole lot Guys, we'll get it out in a day or two and run it after a bunch of heat. Anyways, uh, thank y'all for watching. Everybody have a good day.